Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about grounding yourself and spirit guides and so a lot of times we forget to ground and in where we're at in the world all electronics do not have a grounding frequency it's actually a negative frequency and it is designed to cause confusion to block the third eye and make our electromagnetic field kind of like chaotic and staticky so it would be very hard to channel clear messages if you are on the internet all the time, on YouTube all the time, doing that sort of thing all the time on your phone, whatever. Which is also why I don't post videos constantly. But anyways, so grounding yourself, when you look at your electromagnetic field, the earth is the natural frequency, it's part of our DNA, there's a genetic component to our physical body, our spiritual body, and the earth, and it radiates when it's all in sync, it radiates the natural flow of source, and we're all part of source in the universe, right? So if you want to be one with source, ground yourself, ground your frequency into the earth. And it actually can look very interesting if you have clairvoyant abilities and you can see things in a different light. So I kind of see things backwards sometimes. So when I see animals or my cat's right there, <laughs> cats or people, you can look at them backwards in your mind if you're clairvoyant and see the electromagnetic energy running through them. And grounding that frequency to the earth is very important if you want to channel clear messages because you have to pull the energy from above into your body and ground it. And it's kind of like this thing where heaven meets earth and it's like creates this little spark and that's source. It's in alignment with source. It's actually kind of cool. It's really cool. Now, channeling clear messages, that got, rolls into spirit guides. Have you ever seen those cartoons where it's like the devil on one shoulder and the angel on one shoulder and on the other shoulder? So what do you do if <laughs> what do you do if you have one good spirit guide, one bad spirit guide? <laughs> How do you know what you're connected to, right? And it can happen like that. Some people have multiple guides. They don't know exactly what they're connected to. One guide says this, one guide says that, and then it's a whole thing of confusion. So focusing on your own energy, disconnecting from electronics, spending time in nature, getting to know your own frequency, your own source energy, that will help you recognize where the energy psychically is coming from and if it's coming from a benevolent source. Because if your energy is in alignment with source and you connect to a higher energy that's also in alignment with source, then there's a match and the frequency is flowing, right? If you're connecting to like a negative entity or negative energy, it will be chaotic, it will be out of alignment, and the messages will come through distorted, and you'll start to contradict yourself in the channel messages and such. So there's also some type of, like I'll take it back to the cartoon, the spirit, let's just say you have a negative spirit guide, so maybe it's like a gigantic reptilian. <laughs> or gray or a demonic presence they will tell you stuff that will make you feel powerful that will make you feel power exert your power and control over other people that kind of thing and you think of the devil in the cartoon on your shoulder it's it's appealing to the ego right it's telling you to do certain things and your mind is like yeah i'm right right like it feels good you know, whatever, go hit that person, this is dramatic, but go hit that person with your car because you're mad at them. And it's like, yeah, my spirit guide told me to, so I'm going to go do it, right? And that's a perfect example of spiritual ego when you have an energy appealing to the ego, and then all of a sudden you're validated spiritually to hurt other people. So there's that component. A good spirit guide a lot of the times will give you insight and it's not necessarily stuff that you want to hear. It's detached from the ego, kind of like a therapist, like a third par party. With love, but a third party. So it's not necessarily like talking to your mom <laughs> who loves you, who doesn't want to hurt you. It's more detached than that, but it's, it's a higher type of love. So it can be 
that's the best way that I can describe it because that's my experience and how it happens for me. And so I think my like my ending closing message was it can be just to disconnect from electronics, get to know yourself. And in meditation, if you set the intention for the right energy without ego, it will come to you. So that's my little spiel. Hope you guys have a great day.